And nearly 30 pounds of explosives have arrived for Nashville's fireworks show. As you can see here from our Nissan Stadium camera right now, sitting there ready to go. And this year, drones are going to be a part of the big extravaganza for the very first time as well. The president of Sky Elements Drone Show telling News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry that the plan is to create an innovative and revolutionary fireworks display. Can't wait to see it, Caitlin. Well, to create a balanced effort of drones and fireworks, the president of Sky Elements Drone Show says it all depends on the work of drone technicians and animators. One pilot will manage the 400 drones and the nearly 30,000 pounds of explosives will be set off in four primary shell locations and eight smaller firework locations across from Riverfront Park. Following the Nashville New Year's Eve event, the president and CEO for the Nashville Convention and Visitors Corp says they immediately started planning for the 4th of July. She said this year the addition of drones to the fireworks show and live music from the Nashville Symphony will set the standard for 4th of July's to come. The executive vice president for Pyro Shows tells me this year they will be painting the sky red, white and blue. He says they will launch 1000 floating flares into the river and the fireworks will reach up to 1000 feet high. But to have an iconic show, every explosive has an exact placement. Every single one of the tens of thousands of effects we're going to do has a specific place and um, you put those into place and then you begin to wire them and you put them to their detonators and then you take the detonators and put them into their uh, electrical boxes and then you go all the way back to the control uh, bunker that we have set over there. Last year, an estimated 250,000 people attended the event and generated $11.6 million in estimated direct visitor spending. The fireworks and drone show will start at 9.30 tomorrow night, with some of the best viewing locations being Lower Broadway, Ascend Amphitheater, and the Riverfront Park. Mark? And we'll be down there. Can't wait to see you. Caitlin, thank you. And with nearly a quarter of a million other people expected to crowd downtown Nashville tomorrow, Metro Police are prepping to make sure everyone's safe. So most importantly, they ask if you see something, say something. Hundreds of officers are going to be there during the celebrations. You could easily find someone. You could report any suspicious activity to them or call their command post. And we got that number up on the screen right now. Also, be sure to protect your belongings. And of course, don't let any of that out of sight. And if you're staying in the house tomorrow to celebrate Independence Day, we got you covered here on News 2. We're going to be airing Music City's Let Freedom Sing live right here on News 2 tomorrow night starting at 9 o'clock, 30 minutes before the fireworks. And as